If you need help connecting your mixer to your speakers or amplifier, I'm going to help you out in this video. We're going to walk through each step, taking note of the importance of following the steps in order to protect your ears and your equipment. By the end, you'll learn how to pass an audio signal from an input source to the speakers. But I promised you I'd do it in five minutes or less, so we really got to get going. First, you need to know if you're using active speakers or passive speakers. Active speakers have an amplifier built into them. That means they take a mic or line level signal through their input. Active speakers will usually have either XLR, quarter inch, RCA, or 3.5 millimeter inputs. And most importantly, active speakers require a connection to a power outlet and will usually have an on off switch. Passive speakers require a separate amplifier. Passive speakers will often have some variation of a positive and negative terminal connection, but they can also have a quarter inch or speak on connector. So for the rest of this video, when I say amplifier, it also refers to the amplifier within the active speaker, if that's the type of speaker that you're using. The first step is to power off both the mixer and the amplifier. You just want to be certain that no signal will be abruptly sent through the speaker by mistake. Step two is to connect everything together. If you're using an active speaker, this means connecting your mixer output directly into the active speaker's input. If you're using passive speakers, you'll have to put an amplifier in between, so the signal flow would look like mixer output to amplifier input, amplifier output to speaker input. I'd recommend leaving the bulk of excess cable on the speaker side because it's more likely that if anything needs to be moved, it's going to be the speaker and not the amplifier or the mixer. In most cases, you'll be connecting your speakers or amplifier through the main outputs on your mixer. These might be labeled left and right. Later in the video, I'll demonstrate how to route an input signal through these main outputs. Before turning on the mixer, be sure that all of the faders are at their lowest setting and also check that all of the knobs are at their default settings. This step, again, is intended to prevent any accidental bursts of sound that can put your ears and your equipment in danger of being damaged. Now you can go ahead and turn on the mixer, and at this point you shouldn't see any signals on any of the meters. At this point, it's safe to turn on the amplifier or the active speaker. The method of connecting an input source to the mixer is a bit different depending on what the source is. For a more in-depth explanation of this process, check out this Audio University video. I'm going to connect a dynamic microphone to input one using an XLR cable. To test the system, I'll start by bringing the master fader that's in the bottom right-hand side of the mixer to zero dB or unity gain. This position of the fader allows the signal to simply pass through without being boosted or reduced. I'll do the same thing with the input fader, bringing it to 0 dB as well. Now I'll start talking into the microphone and slowly start to turn up the preamp knob at the top of the input channel strip. At this point, you should hear the microphone coming through your speakers. The full system looks something like this, with the signal originating at the microphone, traveling through the cable, through the channel strip, through the master fader, out through the main outputs of the mixer, into the amplifier or the active speaker, and through the speaker itself. If you don't hear anything at this point, bring the fader back down and check that there's not a switch on the input channel strip that says LR or main that needs to be pressed in order for the channel to be sent to the master fader. If you still don't hear anything at this point, or you just want to learn more about the other settings on your mixer, check out the Audio University mixer guide that's on your screen right now. I'll see you there.